You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Netlink Daily's coming to town. Julia, I think it means Santa Claus? Santa Claus is coming to town. Jack, I met Netlink Daily. Stop trying to ruin my Christmas carols. But they're not Christmas carols if you don't talk about Santa. Let's get to the news. EVGA has announced the GeForce GTX 970 Hybrid Gaming, and as some of you might have guessed by the name, it's a self-contained water-cooled video card. The card has 1,664 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1,140 MHz, and a boost clock of 1,279 MHz. All this with a 120mm radiator and fan, and 4 gigs of RAM. When compared to the standard 970s, the Hybrid runs 40 degrees Celsius cooler. The EVGA 970 Hybrid is priced at $399.99. So, like 400. On Wednesday, the Pixel C design team took part in a Reddit AMA. While it was fairly uneventful, the AMA was able to shed some light on the next version of Android, which of course is the Android N. The team from Google is preparing to include native windowed multitasking. Obviously, this is a feature best used with larger Android tablet devices and not with smartphones. But here's the bigger question What does the N stand for? Nougat? Nutella? Leave a guess down below. The dust has barely settled from the launch of the OnePlus X, and here we are getting reports of the leaked OnePlus 3 renders. MobileDad.com has posted a few leaked renders of the alleged OnePlus 3. The Chinese website also says that the 3 will come with a Snapdragon 820, it'll still sport a 1080p display with front-facing speakers, and it also looks like the renders don't include a fingerprint sensor. Looks like we'll just have to wait and see how accurate these leaks are. Okay. Let's do some snippy snippets. Steam is tightening up security for traded items in an effort to reduce account hijackings. Items will be held for days unless you have two-factor security. Somewhat good news for Cyanogen users out there. There will be a special version of Cortana that will allow for the Hey Cortana voice actuation from any screen, not just the home screen. Every pre-order of the Oculus Rift will come with a copy of Eve Valkyrie, the multiplayer dogfighting shooter. GoPro has announced the name for its upcoming drone. It's called Karma. Bethesda has opened up a Montreal studio. Industry veteran Yves Lachance is the studio head, and 40 developers have been hired so far. And mobile game Fallout Shelter has now added dog meat and other pets to the vault. I'm going to name my cat Pepsi. Because Pepsi's better. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Fabulous levels over 9,000! Some of you Netlink fans out there seem to be really curious about what goes on behind the camera and how we are behind the scenes. Well, to satisfy your curiosity, we've come up with two solutions. Number one, if you have any questions about anything, whether it's tech related or otherwise, you can use hashtag AskNCIX on social media or in the comments to ask those questions and we'll do our darndest to answer them. But if you can't get enough of us on this channel, head over to NCIX TV where we've recently started to post vlogs. So you can click over here to check out our vlog channel and if you like that, subscribe. Go on, subscribe. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, you've made it this far into the video. Give yourself a big pat on the back and three cheers. Ready? Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. Now go watch our vlog channel right here. <laughs> you happy, Jack? Well, yeah, right here. Go on, subscribe.